guys and thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today I'll be building a small, cheap DIY metal detector kit that I got from uh, AliExpress, I believe. Uh, it was around two dollars and as you can see there's not much to it. Uh, there's a couple of resistors, transistors and capacitors and one potentiometer. <laughs> and yeah, two wires <laughs> for the battery. So it's not going to be a long build, I'll put in all the components first and then I'll proceed to solder them in. So here we go. As you can see all the uh, holes and the places where the components should be are labeled nicely so anyone can really do it. Um, so yeah, I'll go on and push through. Now we have most of the components in, I just wanted to make a quick note. Uh, these transistors here, all of them uh, are different transistors. So see this one's uh, 9012, this one's 9015, this one's 9018. And if you can see on the board, their placement should be flat side where the number is and round side on the other side. So like so, like this. Yeah. So make sure you check out the numbers on the back of the transistor and put them in accordingly. And there we go. All the components are in their place. Now all that's left is to solder them in. Uh, I'll leave the wires for the end because I already have a, <coughs> a lithium battery that I'm gonna use to power this thing for now. Probably make a battery holder uh, and use proper uh, batteries later on but now I have just a little lithium battery because this guy works from uh, I believe 3 to 5 volts so mine is about 4 point something at the moment so it's gonna work probably <laughs> we'll see later on so now I'm gonna put this in my helping hand and solder everything in don't know if you caught my mistake but let me show you but I realized when I started uh, soldering that's what happens when you want to do something quickly see this Q3 uh, transistor I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it come on man focus There we go. See how one leg didn't go into the hole, but instead went eh, down there. That's because I wasn't looking and I didn't check the components before I soldered them in. So now, now I have to desolder those legs, take the whole component out. And believe it or not, I have managed to desolder this uh, transistor from here and 
solder it back in properly. So I've also soldered in these uh, wires so I can test it out, well, for the first time. Let's see how it does. I'm going to use this lithium battery that I got from a uh, power bank. I'm gonna have my screwdriver ready because this potentiometer is gonna have to be adjusted uh, in order for it to be calibrated so if it beeps very loudly the first time I'm gonna probably mute the video much better so the way you have to do it you have to adjust the potentiometer until it's not beeping at all just just below that threshold oh, this is a bit too much and, oh, and you must not have any metal things around it so now it's not beeping. For now. Let's try something. Well, it seems to work. I might be touching some things. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seems to work. And on either side, it's large enough metals. Another foam, for example. But yeah, there you have it. That's it from me for now. Uh, I might try to make it a bit better in a future video, but I'll keep you posted in the comments below or somewhere. Oh well, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Cheers.